gotta tell you, the more I read about the primordial gravity wave discovery, the more excited I get. I know, uh, being an astrophysicist right now is like being a rock star. It's only without the sex. <laughs> yeah, literally none of it. <laughs> what do you think about it, Sheldon? Meh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This may be the biggest scientific breakthrough of our lifetime. How can you, as a theoretical physicist, not care about this? Maybe it's because I'm not an elitist. You know, what I'd like to know is, how does this gravity wave breakthrough help the man on the street, you know? Hey, who's looking out for Joe Sixpack and all his quantum physics concerns? Oh my god, you're jealous. Yeah. Why would I be jealous? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because the origin of the universe just got proven. The Higgs field just got proven, and you've been working on string theory for the last 20 years, and you're no closer to proving it than when you started. Yeah, well, I've had a lot on my plate. <laughs> we happen to live in a golden age of television. <laughs> Excuse me, fellas. Oh, sorry for eavesdropping, but there actually was some big string theory news today out of the Hadwan Kawaita. Really? Did they find evidence to support extra dimensions or supersymmetry? Uh, no, but they did find evidence that you'll believe anything. <laughs> Why would you do that? You're a string theorist as well. Incorrect. I am a swing pragmatist. I say I'm going to prove something that cannot be proved. I apply for grant money, and then I spend it on wicker and boards. <laughs> Wait a... <laughs> Do you think he's right? Am I wasting my life on a theory that can never be proven? Maybe, but how great is Game of Thrones? <laughs> <laughs> um,